was there anything that felt very far and different from a standard major league game in a major league park? Uh, not for me. I felt pretty comfortable out there. Um, I thought that um, I thought they did a great job with with the, with the facility and getting the field ready. I know that um, I can't imagine how much work that is, but. Um, you know, I thought everything. I thought everything on the surface um, played great, and um, it was a lot of fun. Aaron mentioned. Aaron Judge mentioned he was fired up from the start with the way they did the anthems and the lineups and everything. Did you feel like there was extra energy early in this? Oh one? yeah, for sure. I mean, um, definitely feels almost like a World Series game or a playoff series. Um, you know, very, um, very high intensity. Um, not just during and before the game, but just leading up to it the last couple days. I think a lot of anticipation, so it was fun to get out there. And um, first inning, I mean, who would have thought it would have unfolded like that? But um, crazy game to be a part of. Not to take anything away from their offenses, but uh, what do you think going to lead to so many runs? Obviously, I mean, heat. I have no idea. Um, you know, I guess we'll see. I don't think anybody could expect the same thing to happen tomorrow, but. Um, I don't know. I mean, um, both teams just, um, like I said, it was a clean game. Not many, really any mistakes, no errors, just a lot of hits and a lot of runs and um, nothing really cheap to center field, which I think what everybody was kind of talking about coming into it. So, um, you know, I think that, um, you know, for the most part, like I said, a fun game to be a part of. And um, I thought the atmosphere was great. First time you ever got to meet any royalty, I guess? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, I, I, th I thought that was um, I thought that was pretty um, pretty exciting. You know, all the guys in here were, were excited to uh, to meet them, and um, it was fun to spend a couple minutes and obviously get a get a team picture with with them. So um, it was great. Um, I had an idea, but you know, I had a little heads up. You know, I couldn't help but think when he said, "I'm not sure we'll see a game like this again." 30 runs, 37 hits. What if tomorrow's a one nothing game? People in London are like, what is happening here? They'll say, what is this crazy sport? <laughs> and everyone will have to say to them, well, you have to pay attention. Across a 162-game season, you are going to have some crazy games like this. And this was a crazy game, but we should give some props to Brett Gardner for a second, too, Bob. That was his 12th home run of the season, which matches his total from all of last season when he had over 600 plate appearances. He hasn't even reached 300 plate appearances this season. So in a year where he has struggled offensively, I know the average isn't exactly where he wants to be. He has been providing power. And I know injuries factor in, obviously, but who would have thought Brett Gardner would have more homers right now than Aaron Judge or John Carlos Stanton. And he had a reminds from reporters about a week ago after Stanton went down about nobody thought I was going to play in the first, what, 42 games of the season. Aaron Judge went down early as well. And you look at the versatility of the players they have. Luke Voigt goes down today, leaves in the fifth. They're able to put Urshela at third, LeMay Hugh to first. So those moving pieces and the quality of those moving pieces so important to this Yankees team. And I think you're forecasting what we'll probably see tomorrow. Aaron Boone didn't definitively say that we won't see Luke Voigt tomorrow, but I have to believe that the Yankees will probably give him a rest day. They're off on Monday and kind of gauge where things are at but that you're perfectly uh, correct in that you put her shell at third you slide LeMahieu over to first Voight has played in 78 of the Yankees first 81 games so he has been an iron man but to hearing him talk about that injury he seemed optimistic the Yankees haven't ordered an MRI yet so I'm sure they're hoping that he misses tomorrow maybe he's ready to play in the Mets series that starts on Tuesday again to Brett Gardner's point about 30 runs and 37 hits and you say well the 17 runs for the Yankees. Well, yeah, but there were three or four errors by the Red Sox. That's not the case. There were no errors in this game. That was a lot of hard contact from both teams. It reminds you of what they could do, not only head-to-head -head in the regular season, but the kind of damage they can do in the postseason. We certainly saw that last season from Boston. Right, and I appreciated the honesty from the pitchers, whether it was Green or Masahiro Tanaka, who were giving the hitters credit. This can happen in a major league game. And when you look at those 30 runs that were scored, Bob, 21 of them came with two outs. So all of those pitchers were one pitch away from getting out of that, and they didn't get out of it. They made a pitch that ended up resulting in some sort of damage. We saw LeMahieu do that a couple of times. We already mentioned that he drove in five runs with two hits. How about LeMahieu's day? Four hits and five runs batted in after five innings. Right. I mean, this guy is just a hit machine.